Hi, in an earlier video I showed you how to republish HTML data over MQDT and we used the flight arrivals example and I, I wrote a, a Python script to republish that data and this is what happened. We had our web server publishing the data using HTTP. Uh, this is the, the norm today and we put a, a republishing client here. This was uh, written in Python and it took the data converted from HTTP, sent the changes over to the MQTT broker and anyone connecting to that MQTT broker now could receive the changes. And I showed you that with using a Python MQTT client here. Now what we're going to do is go to the next stage, uh, which is likely when people move over from HTTP to MQTT for delivering um, or publishing, publishing data, is we're going to carry on using the web browser which is going to probably continue to be a universal client and this time we're going to use it like this we're going to connect to our web server which is going to be publishing the data and it can be publishing it using MQT uh, sorry using HTTP like it was before and it could also be publishing it using MQTT. Now we might have a republishing client sitting here in the background that takes it from the web server and places into the MQTT broker or we might be publishing direct into the MQTT broker and direct into the into the web server but this would be a, a transition when easy transition from HTTP to MQTT and we connect our web browser here it pulls in the necessary data from the web server using HTTP now the flight arrivals information it pulls from the MQTT broker using MQTT over WebSockets. Now MQTT over WebSockets is, is a bit of JavaScript that can be sent from the web server to the uh, web browser. So you don't have to install anything on the web browser for this to work. It's just a standard web browser. Everything is done on the web page. And if you go back to earlier video I did showing you how to use uh, MQTT over WebSockets then you'll understand how that works. So what I've done now is basically I've created a web page that I connect to and so we're going to replace the web page that we, we had or the, the airline would have had on the web server or we're going to aug augment it. It makes no difference what, what you do. What I've done is I've effectively replaced it. So you could have a link on the web server that you click on and it goes to your new web page or you might just serve that web page up directly. Now this is the web page, it's a very simple web page. I've just modified one of the earlier web pages I did for, for WebSockets. Uh, it's not meant to be uh, a work of art this, it's just meant to be a demo. And I've made it simple for myself in the fact that I'm not displaying too much data and I'm going to display the received messages down here. And I enter the airline or the uh, the, the flight number here. If I just enter the airline I'll see all the data for that airline. If I enter the airline and the flight flight number I'll see just the data for that um, flight. Now this relies on the Python publishing script, uh, republishing script, so I need to start that off and start getting the data sent off to the uh, MQTT broker and then this web page will then pick up that data using web so uh, MQTT over WebSockets from the, MQ, from the MQTT broker. Now from an end user perspective, the end user view in this form wouldn't know where the data is coming from. He, he would think it was still coming from a standard HTTP web page and the actual basic form, the whatever they're seeing here will be, but the data that's being filled into these, sorry, the data that's arriving here is coming from the MQTT broker it's not coming via HTTP. So I've started up the script and the MQTT broker and you can see it's already connected to the MQTT broker so now I just enter the airline in here and I'll go for Air France and I subscribe and there you can see we've got the flight data for Air France coming in down here. Okay, that's it. Very, very simple. Getting data from, H from a, a standard uh, web server, republishing it over MQTT, and then picking that up that data using a standard web browser. 
If you're not sure how WebSockets works and how MQTT over WebSockets works, I'll put a link below to the the relevant videos and to the tutorials on the websites regarding MQTT over WebSockets. Well, that's the end of the video. If you've got any comments, then leave them below. If you like the video, then click the like button below. Uh, you can always subscribe to the channel and get notified of new videos. And if you're a user of social media and like to share the video on social media, then feel free. Until next time, goodbye.